Hi, my name is Michael Seidman. I'm a medical doctor. I'm a surgeon. I'm a scientist. I'm a nutritionist. I've studied aging and I've studied alternatives for more than 20 years uh, in my laboratory. Um, I graduated from the school of, uh, actually from the school of LSNA at University of Michigan, but in the school of public health, we designed a nutritional background, so I have a degree in human nutrition. I, I've never loved, here I am a medical doctor, and I always say the best medicine is no medicine, the best surgery is no surgery. With that in mind, I still prescribe a fair amount of medicine and I still do a fair amount of surgery, but I do believe that when an alternative exists that has a lower risk profile, you should consider it. So I want to talk to you a little bit about high cholesterol. High cholesterol is one of the primary causes of heart disease and stroke, high blood pressure and problems in America uh, and in the world. And that is really the number one killer, not high cholesterol, but the number one killer is heart disease. So when you think about what cholesterol is, first of all, it's necessary for proper cellular stability. Everybody, uh, every cell in your body has cholesterol in it. It's considered high in America if you're above 200. But you look at our Asian colleagues, and you know they're usually around the low hundreds if you think about it. So my cholesterol was borderline high. Um, I went to my doctor. He says you exercise every day, you have a healthy diet, uh, you don't have any significant risk factors, you're not a smoker. I don't think you need to take you know, one of these medications, prescription medications. But I, when I was approaching uh, 200 and increasing 200, I decided to start taking a formula that I made uh, because I think it is an important thing to lower our overall cholesterol level. The conventional therapy is dietary changes. Increase your intake of fruits and vegetables, reduce or eliminate red meat, eggs, cheese, and other dairy products. Weight loss is critical for most people, but there are very skinny people. I'm six feet tall and weigh 165 pounds. People would call me skinny, and I have relatively high cholesterol. My brother also uh, has some of these issues, and very thin people can have it as well. So weight loss is shown to be a benefit, but again, many thin people can have high cholesterol as well. Medications that are used, you've heard them. I'm not going to go ahead and list them all, but there are many different medications that can help lower your cholesterol, but a lot of those have some side effects. So what are the alternatives? Well, generally speaking, many people tolerate medications without significant side effects. However, there are a significant number of patients that develop effects from the drugs. And it's typically felt that the herbals that we use are weaker and less effective than prescription drugs. And I would say that, that generally speaking, that's true, but it's not always the case. So things that can lower your cholesterol, there's a whole wastebasket or laundry list of things that can help. Things like niacin, artichoke, Chinese red yeast rice. Chinese red yeast rice is interesting because it is a statin-like uh, molecule. So a lot of the drug companies didn't want people to be able to get Chinese red yeast rice, even though it's naturally occurring. Fiber, pygium africanum, you may have heard this also for prostate issues, can be helpful can be of help. Maristica fragrance seeds has been shown to actually lower uh, cholesterol. Garlic, ginseng, foti, fenugreek, devil's claw, goo goo lipids. You've, I've seen both positive and negative effects, but that's one of the, the leading uh, uh, molecules used to help uh, in other countries. Shiitake, chitis, and the list goes on and on. So when you think about it, and this is why I always say in America we need to take our blinders off, is what's, what's conventionally used here may not be conventional in, in other countries. So the first line of therapy in Germany and European countries is not to give you a statin drug, but is to give you Chinese red yeast rice, polycosinol, and gugulipid. So what we've come up with is a very exciting all-natural anti-cholesterol formula, which is made in an FDA-inspected laboratory that is GMP-certified, good manufacturing process, that has things like artichoke extract, chitis and garlic, garcinia, grapefruit pectin, a very powerful binder, beta cytosterol, which is good for cholesterol to lower it. It's also very good for prostates. Uh, EDTA, which is a binder, hyaluronic acid, milk thistle. Milk thistle is a very important herb to protect or heal the liver. It has polycosinol, which has been shown to be beneficial, but again, there's controversy. So everything I say here, you know, from time to time, you'll see an article that does not support what I have seen or believe in, but generally speaking, this is a very good and logical formula to use. It also has Chinese red yeast rice, B12, folate, and maristica. Normally, the dosing is three pills at nighttime. That's when your body makes the majority of the cholesterol it has. Uh, I went from 225 to 200 when I was taking three. I now take six, and I'm at about 150. My HDL, which is the good cholesterol, went from about 45, considered okay, to about 85. Um, will this work for everybody? No, it doesn't. My mom took it. It didn't work very well for her, but for most people who take it, they will notice between a 25 and 50 point drop with a lower um, risk profile than some of the prescription medications. You should always consult with your physician before taking something like this. 
And uh, I want to thank you for taking the time to listen to this, and hopefully you'll uh, have the opportunity to listen to some of our other uh, programs on the site.